This video brought to you by Backwoods Home Magazine. Hey there guys, welcome back. Today's gonna be part three of the sunken greenhouse project. And as you can see behind me, it's really starting to take shape. I'm so excited because for so long, it's just been a hole in the ground and really uh, pretty ugly. But I have been able to get all the framing up and paint it and get the polycarbonate panels on and get it closer or almost to the point where I can use it as a greenhouse. So let me show you all the steps that I've taken to get to this point. And then after that, I will grab the camera, walk you around uh, just so you can kind of see the exterior facade. And then I'll take you down into the greenhouse, to, uh, show you a couple of the things I've done and talk about uh, a few of the other things I still haven't done or things that I need to do. The first step in making my roof structure was to build a ridge beam. I'm carrying it to the greenhouse right here. It's made of three 12 foot long two by sixes and I bolted them and screwed them together. Once the beam was leveled and braced in place, the next step was to build supports at the end and then fill the middles with rafters. This beam will eventually have a middle support, but I don't have it just yet. Now I'm attaching the door frame to the block columns. Fitting the door in and checking for a good fit. After that was finished, it was time for a little paint and boy, I'm glad I bought this sprayer when we built our house. And right here I'm installing the frame for what will be one of two or three vent windows. I'm not exactly sure where the uh, second and third one will go, but at least we know where this one is. And to cover the greenhouse, I'm using Tough Tech's polycarbonate panels that I got at my local Lowe's. I chose these panels for a variety of reasons, but probably the main reason is because they are so resistant to extreme temperatures. Additionally, these panels are supposed to be extremely durable and rugged, but they do require some special care during installation. Specifically, you need to pre-drill holes before sinking the screws. This will aid in helping prevent micro cracks from forming years down the road. As for placing the screws, for horizontal surfaces like roofs, you're going to want to place them on the crowns of the ridges. And if something's gonna be under flashing or in vertical surfaces, you can place the screws within the valleys. And to trim the panels, it was super easy as I just used a circular saw with a reversed plywood blade. And for the edges of the roof, I added galvanized flashing to give it a clean look, as well as to aid in wind and weather resistance. And on a side note, I think I found the first manufacturer that actually installs stickers that can be torn off easily. And now let's take a look at a few final shots of the exterior of the greenhouse, and then I'll take you inside it and talk about a few things I have coming up. And here's a quick little look at my landscaping crew. They work hard and they don't ask for too much.
Okay, now that we're inside the greenhouse, you can definitely tell it feels much more like a greenhouse. And I'll tell you, temperature-wise, it definitely feels more like a greenhouse. It's almost a bit humid in here, but uh, overall it feels pretty nice. Uh, so the most obvious change that you will have noticed is I added a door. Um, I just framed it up, attached it to the columns with those bolts that I had uh, sunk in when I was building the columns. And then just framed out a door and I covered it in the same polycarbonate panels. Uh, that I did the whole structure with. I don't have a handle uh, or latch yet, uh, but that'll <laughs> that'll probably be in my to-do list. Uh, the next thing in here that I had meant to do was um, this ridge beam up here. I have, it's probably about 17 and a half feet long, and I do intend to pour a concrete footer right here and install some sort of uh, interior support. Uh, it doesn't really sag or anything right now, but over time, it is something that you do want to have. Uh, I don't want a longer than a seven or eight foot span without some sort of support. So that'll probably be in the next part as well. So let me take you to the other side of the greenhouse. And the most obvious things here are going to be the little vent door that you see up here. I don't have a latch for that and I don't have a, a polycarbonate panel on it just yet. And the other portion is this little vent hole. I talked about this in a couple of the other, um, I guess, parts. Uh, this is something that I'm probably not going to address for at least a month or two. So I'll probably have the last greenhouse video up and then I'll just do this when I have time. Um, but like I said before, it's just going to be basically, I'm going to trench a long trench, maybe 100, 150 feet. It's going to come out at the bottom of a hillside and hopefully it's going to direct uh, thermally cooled air into this greenhouse during the summer and thermally warmed air, uh, air into the greenhouse during the winter. Uh, but anyway, right now it's just a hole in the concrete. And if it does look like it's not quite a straight line, this is just from my foam support when I poured that concrete. It had just sagged. Um, it's not currently sagging right now. Um, it's structural. It's got a, bu a bunch of rebar in it. Uh, so let me take you to the next part. Okay, so the next issue at hand, <laughs> I feel like these videos are starting to look the same, um, but these steps. Uh, this is still kind of my nemesis. I said that I had planned on doing some sort of gabions or something up either side and then uh, building some formed uh, concrete steps or something like that. I am still not sure what I want to do. Um, I may end up doing some sort of railroad tie thing on the sides and then tying them into those dead man anchors that I spoke of before. Um, and speaking of that, um, this wall where you had those, uh, where I showed you those little PVC pipes last time, uh, they still have exposed PVC pipes. And I'm trying to be realistic uh, with myself right now. And I'm probably not going to get those finished for a while now. I'm probably just going to leave these, uh, this wall uh, be the way it is just for this uh, coming up summer, just so I can get on to some other projects. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I hope this updated you guys. I really did not intend for this to be a part three or four or five part uh series but it probably is going to be part four or four parts so the fourth part will probably be like landscaping these stairs um and oh a i, I need to add another uh, vent up in this uh, top of the ridge um i just didn't have time to do it right now but that will be kind of what the next phase is of this greenhouse and then maybe building some shelving so um, I hope it was informative and hopefully maybe it gave you guys some ideas of things and you can see my chickens trying to explore in the background. And then uh, if that's all, then I guess we'll see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like do-it-yourself projects and other self-reliance oriented topics, please consider subscribing for more future videos. See ya.